Yo, what is up guys? Today I bought something really cool. So the first two videos I posted, the GoPro sounds a little bit off, okay? It doesn't have the greatest sound, so I went to the store. I picked up myself an SD card. No, I'm just joking. I got the GoPro Hero 9, baby. All right, so I mean, I don't really want to do an unboxing because this isn't really an unboxing channel, but I mean, check this out. We're going to test out the quality here in a minute. We're gonna be washing my car, cause I haven't washed it in the last three seconds. So I gotta wash it every three seconds. And then, uh, yeah, so I'm super excited about this. And then I need, I need a haircut, you guys. Oh my gosh, my hair is bad. All right, let me unbox this thing. Ah! And then, uh, and then we'll get the day started with washing the car. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we got some cleaning stuff up here. We're gonna be using the Citrus Washing Gloss by Chemical Guys. Now I have, a cup that just fell. No, I have this right here, but for some reason, it's just not coming out the way that it used to. Maybe I've had it for too long, but this stuff really helps gloss the car. And then afterwards, if we still, if, I don't know, man, it's, the chemical guy stuff is great, but I don't know, I feel like I feel like it's overpriced for what you get because I, I have this uh, squirrel and scratch, swirl and scratch remover here, and uh, with this ultimate glaze, and it's, it's good stuff, but this right here mixed with this did 10 times the job and it was half the price. So today we're gonna be, we're gonna be washing the car up. I'm not gonna do nothing crazy. I'm just gonna use some sponges. I'm just gonna soap it, no wax. And uh, we've got it over here. Looking ready to rock and roll, baby. Not really even that dirty, but if you get up close, like look at the wheels, the wheels are definitely dirty. Look at this. Ugh. Yuck. <laughs> I need to, you can see on the window here, I don't know if you can see the, uh, there's some spots, but I need to fix this window tent so bad. That's the next thing we gotta do is fix the window tent. That's that's the big one we gotta fix is the window tent. But uh, we got the DJI set up here, so it's gonna try to follow me around. I don't know how this is gonna work. I might have to have the wife like tell it to follow me. So like you basically hit that button, it turns sideways, and then you got video and then it'll track you. Is my phone about to die? Sit, oh my gosh. All right, I know some of you are gonna give me some some heat for this, and I don't blame you. But man, when I get done washing my car, I cannot stand drying it off so much to where I just go on a little drive afterwards and just try to get as much off as possible, like just with some with some fresh air, man. Just driving a little bit because if you don't listen, hear me out. If you just try to dry it with your little rag or whatever you're using, you can never get all the little wind pockets out, right? You have to use like a blower. So I have a I have a blower in my garage, like a, a leaf blower, and I'll just blow like the uh, the mirrors and the taillights, and I'll try to get all the all the water off of those and like out the rear taillights. But like the front bumper where the little honeycomb mesh crap is at. You just can't get all the water out of there, man. So you, you dry it and you get it all looking good and you, everything is shiny and then you just got like 27 like water streaks coming out the door handles and everything and you look like a dork. So I don't um I don't use my windshield wipers and I, I, tr I try not to because I don't want that little streak in the middle, you know? So I try to just go on a little drive, man, like get 50 or 60 miles an hour and uh, and dry it off that way. And, you know, I don't know if it works. I mean, it does a little bit, but Probably why I have spots all over my car, dude. Oh, great, I'm about to get stuck behind a dump truck. No way, dude. Perfect. Is this person turning? Oh my gosh. Man, they were flying. They're coming in Tokyo Drift style, dude. 
You know what I find crazy about these Mustangs, man? When you're cold start and you're trying to drive like real slow, the oil pressure gets up to 100 PSI. Like max is out. It's crazy. Like when you're just driving at 2,000, like I'm at 2,000 RPMs right now and it was at 90. That's absolute, that'll blow your oil filter off, man. I mean, that's, I mean, not, it's just crazy, okay? It's, it's insane. It's, it's so much oil pressure. I've never seen that out of a car. And I also never knew that the wheels on this car need 135 foot pounds of torque. I had to have a, a, a buddy that's way smarter than me tell me, bro, your lug nuts go on at 135 foot pounds. I said, no way. Cause I, I don't know, man. I just never, that's a lot. That's a lot of weight. I never just thought it would be that way. I don't know. I'm just, I guess I'm stupid. Whatever it might be, I just had no clue, okay? So, oh my gosh, how do I? No, I'm about to go through a construction zone, dude. Not cool. Okay, we're just gonna turn. I'm gonna turn right here because I'm not trying to go through no construction zone. Hey, that's what I love about these 373s, bro. You can be in fifth gear going 12 miles an hour and still have a little bit of torque. Get a little bit of speed. All right, I'm gonna slow back down. You can't speed in neighborhoods, ladies and gentlemen, all right? I hope you guys enjoyed me cleaning the car right there. We're about to go in the garage, and uh, I'm gonna dry it off, and then uh, I'm not sure what we're gonna do after that, man. I gotta cut some wood up and start a little fire, so you guys might watch me do that, and I don't know, it's gonna be interesting. We're gonna go to the garage right now, and then start drying this thing off. I'll see you guys in the garage. Boom! So here's my preferred drying method, is one of these things right here. It seems like they capture the dirt pretty good and it doesn't seem like, I don't know, I don't I don't feel like it's gonna leave swirls on the car or anything like that. I could be, somebody's probably gonna yell at me and call me an idiot on there, but <laughs> you gotta be able to bench press at least five pounds to use this, okay? I can barely do four. No, it's just a little rubber thingy. I don't know what you'd even call it, but you just put it on the car and just rub it and it starts to get dry, dude. See? This absorbs it. I feel like it probably picks up a little bit of dirt too, but you see that right there? That's a problem. Because if you don't get all that, then you get streaks, all right? So maybe this thing isn't that good. Like if I take a microfiber, I'm gonna show you what it does. So, okay, this is my wax on and wax off bin, but we'll use it real quick, okay? Because this is a drying towel. You see, when you come in here with this, you see how it dries then? So maybe this little rubber thing isn't the best, man. Maybe it's just like a little, I don't know. But yeah, you just, I'm gonna drive this car off real quick and then we, uh, we'll get some shots of it. So, you. You guys we got the car all cleaned up it looks all right it's not bad i still want to fix these the swirls that are in here and i just i think what i'm gonna have to do is go to this place called jack's wax they told me they have something that i could i could use with the rupees uh buffer and uh some of their stuff like not really a cutting compound because i don't want to cut the clear and i know if something's real bad you have to cut the clear i don't think it's that bad i think it's like surface level it just needs something a little bit more abrasive than the vss um with a Walmart brand orbital, okay? And maybe some better pads. So we're gonna be probably heading out to Jack's Wax. I might go out there tomorrow and see if I, what I can find and uh, I'll have to vlog that. But yeah, guys, it doesn't look too bad. Pretty shiny. That stuff, that citrus um, wash, wash and shine, whatever it is, wash and gloss, does a great job. But yeah, maybe next time we can use our little DJI here for some better shots. But everything today was filmed with the GoPro, as far as like all the slow-mo cinematic, anything cinematic like was filmed with the GoPro and then uh, everything else was filmed with the iPhone. So I still need to get a haircut. I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching today though. I really do appreciate it. And uh, maybe I'll show you guys some tips on how to clean your windows without any streaks tomorrow. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. But all right guys, have a good day.